pinkies up, everybody. This is it. My first Turkish coffee experience. It smells very rich and full-bodied. Just like me. <laughs> Just like my good friend Steve. Are you rich? To be determined. Oh, it's sweeter than I thought it would be. Very sweet. <laughs> nice and hot, just like I like it. Just like me. Fair enough. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like regular black drip coffee that I'm used to, and I just burn my hand like a third degree burn in my thumb. It's got a very, it's got a very unique flavor, right? I, I would not, it doesn't taste like regular black coffee. It has its own, it's got like a very earthy flavor. Like, you know what I'm talking about, you right? You like it black. It's very, um, yeah. it's, it's almost has like rich. a burn flavor. But it's very sweet and very creamy because of the, the, the milk that you put in there and the sugar. I like it though. I kind of like it sweet. You, again, you can do whatever you want with it. You can add a little sugar, a lot of sugar, no sugar. It just it's, it's your palate. Okay, I, I'm giving it a five out of five. Oh. That's my review. I love it. I love how hot it is. I like my coffee to be boiling hot. But I like the, the the base flavor. Like through the sweetness, you have that really strong, bold, earthy flavor where it's a little bit burned. But it, I'm guessing that's just kind of how they do it. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like you're sipping that black, strong flavor up through the cream and the sugar that's mixed in. And it kind of softens it a little bit. Oh, it's good, folks. I love it. It's a cultural experience. And that's it until next time. We'll see you then. This is it, the Turkish coffee in these fancy little teacups. And we're gonna try it on camera just for you guys for the first time. And it was boiling hot because it overflowed when it was on the stove. My good buddy Steve's house for another review of I review food and food related items. My hair looks awful. So today, Steve's Assyrian wife, is that culturally insensitive? Should I not call out her race? Either way, she's Assyrian. She is going to talk about the delicious hot beverage that she has just made that I have never had in my life. So her name is Katrine. Hi. Welcome to the channel. Thank and there's you. Steve. Hello. He's been featured many times. So talk to me and my viewers, my 56 plus subscribers at this point. Wow. So this is called Turkish coffee, right? Mm -hmm. And can you show the, the implement that we cook this in? So this is a stovetop type of coffee. Copper. So what do they call that? Is there a specific name for it? I don't know, actually. It's got a lot of engravings on it. It's very beautiful, a wooden handle. And so unlike your traditional filtered coffee, you boil the grounds in the water. Is that right? It's not water. So it's oh. milk, sugar, and uh, the Turkish espresso powder. And this... But traditionally, it's not made with milk and sugar. It's just made with water and the espresso powder. So they just drink it. So this up. is kind of a special. It's our very. It's my very. Your special recipe. Yeah. And we're gonna just flip the camera around here, folks. 